hey y'all hey y'all good morning good morning good morning welcome to my channel my name is leslie if you're new here if you already know the vibes you know the vibes period so y'all can see what's going on i'm getting ready for my cruise which um i leave out in about what 10 days i actually leave in seven days oh my god i forgot to record my nails for y'all but i did do a tiktok funny that it's always been all about you from the start i met someone new last night and we kick it and i'm going like that tonight and you know what's on my mind so this is the nails that i got i let instagram pick out my shape it was between between almond coffin or square french tip and they voted this which i love it's giving like super classy and then i even got um oh y'all my feet cashy but i even got french on my toes too but y'all i was supposed to get my hair done today I had booked my appointment like three weeks ago, right? I woke up early this morning because I was like, okay, I'm going to wash my hair, blow dry it, and then go to the hair store before my appointment, which is like at 11.30. So I woke up like 6 o'clock this morning. I was just chilling in bed. I was going to get up around 7 and start moving around. So why she wrote me the stylist at 6.13 in the morning? I feel like she didn't think I was up, but I was a little... She said, good morning. I woke up feeling very sick to my stomach and in my, in my head. I won't be able to do your hair today. I will be getting a checkup for a COVID test. Um, if so, I could probably do your hair tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Tomorrow is Monday. I said, good morning. I work Monday through Friday. She said, sorry for the inconvenience on the appointment date. If you don't want tomorrow, I can send the deposit back to you. I am off Monday, so I can do whatever time works for you. I said, okay, we can aim for Monday hope you feel better thank you just shoot me a text for the time i said it would be 6 p.m i work 9 through 5. she said okay <clears throat> now 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 let me just say this what a coincidence you woke up the day of my appointment feeling sick okay cool whatever she might be telling the truth if she is then hope you feel better Maybe she went out Saturday night, what was around COVID. Maybe she went out Friday night and she feeling symptoms of getting sick. I, I, We all get sick and we know when we're going to get sick, right? Maybe she's telling the truth. Okay, cool. But my thing is, is like, if you are sick, then you wouldn't be able to do my hair on Monday. Like, regardless COVID or not, if you woke up two days, Sunday morning, feeling sick, I'm assuming sick as in a cold, not like oh, I just got a migraine, then you would be sick tomorrow too. So why would you even reschedule me the next day? Child, I ain't studying her. I just said, mm-hmm, Monday. But really, I'm finna go. But really, what I'm about to do is look up uh, another stylist, which I already have a few people that don't do faux lock. I'm debating if I want to get it done today and pay somebody like a same-day appointment fee, which is like an extra $25, just because I'm free today and it's Sunday versus trying to get my hair done on a weekday or even try to get it the weekend before i leave because if somebody cancels on me the weekend before i go then i'm gonna really have to cut up on somebody so i'd rather have it done now and not have to worry about it but i don't know y'all i don't know anyways y'all so i'm about to wash my hair i guess i can show y'all a little bit of that i'm actually gonna wash my hair like a different way I seen on TikTok, people were like, wash your hair in braids. Not like this, but like once I take my hair out, section it, braid it down, maybe put a rubber band at the end so it stays. Boy, I think about it every night and day. I'm addicted, wanna drive inside your love. I wouldn't wanna have it any other way. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. I'm addicted, like DJ Love, addicted, addicted, I'm addicted. That way you can get to your scalp better which i totally agree because 
baby this hair when it's out and i'm trying to wash it like i feel like i don't be getting to the scalp i feel like i just be getting to the hair which is good but the scalp is what needs to be cleaned so i'm gonna try that method today Alright y'all, sorry for the noise, but um, I did two washes, um, honestly I feel like it's clean, like I was really able to get to my scalp, like, I should have did it before and after, but baby, that hair is clean. So what I'm going to do is just take out like three and see if it needs to be like washed outside of the braids. Hey y'all, hey y'all, I'm back, hair is dry. Um, y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna do that method again. I feel like it was very time consuming because you had to like wash, it was like sections, right? So take that section out, wash it, braid it. When it's time to dry, you have to unbraid it. After you wash the conditioner out, dry it, braid it, then go to the next. So I started off with like probably like 16 sections. Now I only have six. So maybe that's why, maybe I should've just started off with six sections versus starting off at 16 because I was doing like a lot of sections but I mean it's cool whatever it definitely saved time with detangling though like it was so much easier but I don't know if I would do that again um I feel like this method is probably more so for people who wash their hair like every week or every two weeks where it does it's not that much build up that not that much gunk so you could probably get away with just washing your hair like this and then conditioning it without having to take it out. But baby girl, I had those braids in. I had those feeding braids for like a month. And y'all know what feeding braids, they put gel from the top to the back of the neck. So it was like all that gel that was like in my hair. I just felt like I had to like take out the braid and really get in that. So yeah, it's currently 140. Um... I'm about to get ready to leave. My hair appointment's not until four, but I need to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm looking for some skincare products. Yeah. All right, y'all. I will probably just see y'all when I get to the girl's house. Hopefully, she lets me record. Um, and I don't know how long this takes. I'm praying it doesn't take no more than four hours. I hate sitting in the salon that long. Like, I like to be in and out, but... 
it is what it is i just hope that i love it i hope that i love it because the original girl that i want to like blew me so now i'm like scrambling to find somebody to do it today but you know it is what it is i mean it is what it is i'm gonna just ask her like when she does like the first three rows i want to see it because one i want to look at the parting even though people say the parting doesn't matter it matters to me and then i want to see how much hair she's wrapping around because i don't want no big ass knot like i want little hair wrap but all right y'all i'm gonna see y'all later So she is done. They're not that tight. I mean, they're tight, but not to the point where I have a headache. Like, ooh, I can't wait till they drop. She said they'll drop in like two days. I want to stand right here so I can show y'all how long they are. To cover my back rolls because, baby, I'm on vacation and I want to be able to take back pictures without my back rolls showing. So, yeah, this was the perfect length. I think I got the inch 24. I didn't get 30. 30 is like past the butt. Once they get like fall and they're like actually in place like this, it'll look so much better because right now it's like stiff. Like I said, y'all, my nails are already done. I have to do my lashes. I do my own lashes, y'all. I'm going to show y'all uh, when I do them. And then I got to get my brows tinted. My brow tint is going to be Thursday for sure. So right now it's Sunday, y'all. So I probably won't pick up the camera back until Thursday. I also need to pack. Ooh, but yeah. Anyways, y'all, stick, stick hey, with me. Stick. I got the ring light on and I'm looking like good. I do not like my brows, y'all. I don't know. Maybe because I don't have my makeup all the way done and it just looks like I have brows on. I don't know. But whatever. I mean, it's fine. Anyways, y'all, so I got off of work about two hours ago. It's Friday, y'all. We leave Monday afternoon. I'm about to do my lashes right now, and then I decided I'm going to um, put in there. Oh, look at this watch. It still has the plastic on, <laughs> but look at this watch that I got off Amazon. I don't know if this face is like a designer dupe face of a watch, but... I think it was like $20. Anyways, y'all, I'm talking too much and I'm wasting time. Oh, I was gonna do a TikTok of these lashes, y'all. Look at these, all these lashes. Y'all, if y'all watching this, peep. Do your own DIY, do it yourself. Individual link la mink lashes or whatever the hell they wanna call them. I mean, I call these clusters because they are clusters. So, so y'all see how it's not like literally just one hair, it's a cluster of lashes so i have all types of lengths i got six eight nine ten eleven twelve in here i got six fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen right here these are all sixteen and then this one is sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty like your girl's a lash tech and then these are all 16. So 16 is really like, to me, 15, 16 is like my go-to. I don't think 16 is long on me, but I have really, really big eyes. So like 16 on me is like literally just natural. But to someone that maybe have like a smaller eye, like 16 is going to look super long. I think I'm going to do like 16, 15, 14. Like that's not really a major cat eye, but it's going to look more fuller and longer on the ends. I, should I zoom y'all in? I need to change the settings on my phone. I mean, on my camera too. Hey, y'all. I never have my camera this close. I use this zoomed five times zoom because I can really see everything. Um, I just bring it to the tip. I don't really like to pour it out because I feel like it just dries so quick when you pour it so y'all probably can't see because it's trying to focus on my face i got just a little bit a little dab of glue so i just put the cap back on it because baby we don't want this glue to get messy and then i like to sit it upright on my dresser 
You want to grip it, whatever is best for you. Get the mirror. You want to to get it's. I glue them under the lash because that's gonna give the natural look. You don't want to put them on top like it's a lash strip underneath. So you just want to like lift your eye up so you can really see where your lashes are growing and you want to put it literally like right there you don't want to put it in your eye but right where the lash is so grab your eyelash up and place you can just like make sure it dries in the upward position so i just kind of like hold it it looks so long because I have no lashes. Y'all can already see the one lash. It looks better already. Like, oh my God, I have no lashes. So yeah, you just want to keep filling them. To use different lengths however you want. one layer like I said looks really good major difference right like I said it feels like nothing's there I don't want to play with them too much because I just put them on well I think I'm gonna fill it a little bit more and then I'll probably come back and then do this eye but I'm trying to get as close as I can like it looks so natural so I'm pretty much done I totally forgot to pick up the camera. As you guys can see, the look I did is like a little bit fuller on the ends. I think this side is a little bit more fuller. So I'm probably going to just add more like right here. It only takes a few seconds. And in here, in the inner corner, I have it like less fluffy. So my brows are dyed, eyelashes are on. So now when I'm on vacation and all I really need to do is just my foundation, concealer, and contour and lips. And I'm out the door. Like that's a five minute process. This is the side view really lazy y'all but i'm trying to just not be lazy because the more i do tonight the less i have to do tomorrow so i still need to nair my arms can y'all see this hair my hair y'all yeah so i need to nair my arms and nair my legs that's literally like an extra 12 minute 15 minute process before i get in the shower if i nair tonight then the only thing i need to do tomorrow is just more homework and then pack that is the only thing and we also need to provide a negative covid test vaccinated or not um two to three days prior to the departure day so our cruise leaves on july 4th so tomorrow is july 2nd so we have to wake up at eight o'clock in the morning to take our covid test mine is at 8 a.m zay's is at 9 a.m and i went to walgreens and their walgreens was saying insurance is not covering covid tests anymore for like travel stuff like that unless you say you're sick I'm like, damn, and it's like 160 to pay for a couple of days. I'm like, excuse me? That's crazy. Like, it'll be 160 for me, 160 for him. That's a whole no, $300. I've been out to y'all all day. I, like, literally haven't. I've just been, honestly, I've been lazy. I went to go get breakfast this morning. Oh, oh yeah, I told y'all we got a COVID test. They came out negative. And then I have went and got breakfast. But other than that, like, I just haven't been doing nothing. Um, so I'm about to start packing. And I'm going to do, like, a TikTok. I need to, this is all the clothes I'm bringing. Why do I have, like, 10 outfits for a four-day trip? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But I just like to have options just in case, like, I change my mind. I think Isaiah has, like, 30 outfits. Because <laughs> I got him all new clothes. But I can't, like, make the decision right now, like, what... I want him to put on that day like sometimes you just have to feel the vibe I'm gonna, um aim the camera down so that y'all can see this thing is like so wasting time i was just doing fine should i find something new or should i be tripping on you these decisions ain't easy believe me i don't just finished packing well i think i did so i got all my stuff over here bikinis dinner wear casual wear like cute casual wear i got pajamas one pajamas in a robe and then i just brought some throw on shorts then i got like tripods and sneakers over there i don't even know if this will close <laughs> so i'm hoping i can fit some of because i don't even have my makeup in the bag like what oh my god and then 
I have to put Isaiah's float in the bag too. Like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Because my bag, and this is Zay's bag too, y'all. So I forgot. Look at Zay little feet. Oh my god, his goggles. He's gonna have so much fun. I can't wait. Why did I pack so much, y'all? It's only a four day trip. Cause I can't find one that knows how to treat her. I'm just really trying to understand. Who really trying to know? Cause right now I can't even trust my friends. That's all I'm trying to do. Won't you be my? I'm about to nair these arms. <laughs> I was supposed to do them last night, but I didn't. Sunday, July 3rd, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I leave tomorrow for the cruise and y'all, I am so, so tired. And I didn't, I'm finished packing and stuff like that. I gotta go pick up like small little things. I'm glad I'm getting out right now. I'm about to go to Target. Um, I just need to pick up a few things. Like I wanna see if they have ponchos. Um, I have umbrellas, but I don't have ponchos. And you know, if it starts to rain while we're like, you know, in Bahamas, our perfect day. Like, I don't want the rain to be blowing and getting us wet. So I'm looking for that. Control. I thought I left it in the car, but I don't see it. And I don't even know, like, if Target has black people as control. Like, what? <sighs> to go buy my bottle of wine, a fresh bottle unopened. And what else? I need to extra sim card so all that's pretty much at target except for the hair products so yeah i'm gonna take y'all with me i am so tired y'all i'm so so tired but at least everything is packed so once i get home i'm probably gonna eat find something to eat out here take a nap when i get back and yeah so So I'm in Target, I picked up a few things. Um, I came in for two and I picked up like five, oops. But um, next stop is, they didn't have any edge control. I didn't see any black people edge control in Target, nor did I see the little edge brush. So I'm gonna stop at this hair store, which is right around the corner. And then I have to stop at the liquor store. And that's it, y'all, that is it for me. I think, I'm trying to think in my head, like what else, what else? Hey y'all, so I just made it back home. That was like maybe a 45 minute run. So let's see what I got. I didn't really get much. Well, I did, but I didn't. Oops. So I got my wine, which I'm gonna be bringing on the cruise. I also got my, another edge brush. I have like three, but they're probably dirty anyways. So I got an edge brush with a comb, and then some edge control, 24 hour edge tamer. Then I got this little sun hat for $10. Since I ain't have no hat, so yeah. Ooh, it's real tight. I got another SD card, so I'm gonna just start using that tomorrow when I leave that way. I know that on this SIM card, it's like everything kinda like not cruise related besides this vlog. Um, and then I needed some more lotion, but travel size. I always wanted this, y'all, the black girl sunscreen, but I honestly don't be putting on sunscreen. But I did see people that say in their uh, morning routine, just add some of this after you do your facial 
morning routine so i was like you know what guys too i already have travel soap i wanted to grab some dove soap too uh because i just like bar soap it just it smells so good like i swear like the, like the bar soaps are so much stronger than like the regular then i got some gold earrings because i the other ones that i got it broke so i got these ones because i always have like silver earrings on then i've always wanted this since high school y'all i'm using like a high-end brand for my contour but it is running low so and i always wanted to try the um true complex true complexions oh my so it comes in three sh oh oh yeah period so it comes in like a dark a medium and then it has a highlighter period stop playing with the girls i could probably use both because sometimes I'll be like, damn, my contour is like really, really dark. So I'm glad it comes with like a medium shade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I use Too Faced Concealer, but I, lo I love the shade Fawn. So like I'll use like Fawn for like my under eye because it's more like a golden brown versus like a white ashy brown. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, y'all. When I do my makeup, I be knowing. It'd it be a difference. Okay. Okay. And then I went to the liquor store. So I also went to the liquor store. I just got me this Ciroc pineapple. And then I honestly probably didn't need to get this, but I got it anyway. Um, they were only a dollar, but this is like juice. I think it's just all juice. So I got the Mai Tai. The Mai Tai is pineapple, orange, and cranberry juice from a cocktail blend concentrate. So that's what's already in here. So you know I had to get this around a pineapple. Now, y'all, y'all cannot bring liquor on a cruise. Um, I don't know, I don't, yeah, I don't think you can bring any type of liquor on a cruise or like beer or anything, but your girl got a trick for that. On Amazon, they have these things, they're called hidden flasks. They come in so many different varieties. I have the one that's like an umbrella, but it's, empty inside so you pour your liquor in it and then it's like wrapped in bubble wrap so it really feels like an umbrella and it comes like a string like literally so cute so that's what i'm about to do i'm gonna pour it in here she banging on me on the bank I smack her, she love to get spanked, get spanked. I tackle her, bitch love to wrestle Young bachelor, we love to play So come out when I move the drapes it's not even filled up all the way y'all and that's a calf I don't want to fill it up all the way because I don't think I'm gonna drink all of that Yep, so there we go. Little umbrella. And it's been raining like crazy in Florida. In the summertime, it rains a lot. So, like, this is not suspicious. I mean, it's not suspicious anywhere. Like, you always have to pack the umbrella. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this maintenance vlog here. I mean, I don't know, y'all. What y'all want me to do? Make sure y'all subscribe. I'm so tired, y'all. I still got more homework to do. So, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my cruise vlog.